So I grew up in New York. And in New York, New York City, you walk everywhere. I didn't own a car until I was 25 years old. There was no need. And so because of all of that physical activity, you know, I, I never really had a serious weight problem growing up in New York. But I moved to Houston, Texas eight years ago. And you know how they say in Texas, everything is bigger? Everything is bigger in Texas, especially the food portions on the plates. And in Houston, everything is all spread out. There's no walk anywhere. You drive everywhere. And so because of that, there's a huge obesity problem. As a matter of fact, the state of Texas is the home of five of the fattest cities in America. And Houston is one of them. So definitely there's, you know, there's a little bit of a challenge there with the surroundings. You know, I think about my, my struggle with weight. You know, I go back to in my 20s, there was no struggle. You know, my early 20s and maybe even in my early 30s, you know, all I had to do to lose weight was just think about it. And I'd pretty much wake up the next morning 10, 15 pounds lighter. But when I crossed over 35, it's like somebody changed the rules on me. You know, they changed the rules of the game. They didn't send me the memo. All of a sudden, the weight had me in a chokehold or a headlock. I couldn't get it off. I never gave up, it was always a constant struggle, but you know, I knew that there would be something. And you know, I'm just like so many people out there. You know, I, I, I knew there would be something out there that would work and that's why I kept trying. And I, I, I guess that's why so many people keep trying and they spend so much money on things that don't work because there's always that hope that this just might be the thing that's gonna put you, you know, in, that, in that place where you can feel good about yourself. The Make Life Better transformation program turned out to be just that thing.